What a morning you've had out there, Esa Pekka. It's really gone your way. Tell me why you've had such a strong morning. Uh, the conditions created as an opportunity, let's say. Um, when it doesn't come to the performance of the car, then, then we can... I mean, for sure, the car needs to perform as well, but, but we don't need the power now. Uh, we don't need aero. Um, so even we have seen in the, the last rallies that on the fast sections we are, we are losing quite a bit and, and over here it doesn't matter. So I think that's, that's the key at the moment. You know what, with what we're expecting tomorrow, those conditions, that kind of scenario that you've talked about there, could continue into tomorrow. So you have a real chance now. Yeah, it, it looks that it, it's, it will stay tricky throughout the weekend. Um, so yes, we have a big chance. How excited are you to be right back in amongst the thick of it? Well, it's been a while since I, I have been in this position, so I, I really I, I wanted to be, I, I've tried to be, but it just has, has felt that I, even what I do, it doesn't, it, it's never enough. And, and now it's, it's really nice to see that it's paying off what I do. Danny, we're having a look at the leaderboard. Yourself and EP are having a great battle at the front. You guys know this circuit and you're making the most of it. Uh, I think it's, uh, I, I don't know, honestly, I will change something in the car. I think also with, I don't know where we are faster and yesterday really slow, you know. <laughs> maybe the car is a little bit better today with the, with the things. Also, maybe in the back we have a little bit uh, standing water in the, in the bad parts and all, but okay, I think we are doing well also. Uh, yeah, Skapeka, he was uh, amazing in this morning also, but now I think he put the uh, snow tires and he was really, really fast, in especially in the gravel part. But uh, we need to, uh, to think in tomorrow if it's snowing, we don't have a lot of uh, snow tires. So we can, uh, of course, we will go faster with the snow tires, but we need to keep for tomorrow also. But uh, he's doing very well and the people also in the back, they are start to pushing more now. Uh, Thierry is more close and the others. Uh, so let's see, it's a long day. It's very easy to make a small mistake. It's very muddy places, really slippery, and it's, it's not easy. It isn't easy at all. Now, you did mention earlier on today you made some changes overnight to the car. What were we talking about? Where were the changes in the car that you made? No, we changed quite a few, few things. The front differential, the, a little bit uh, anti-roll bars, clicks, because yesterday was, for me, was, it was a little bit in the, in the wrong direction. But uh, today was, was good. Uh, also, the stages are a little bit better in the circuit and all, but the gravel parts, the muddy parts are like completely like a disaster. No? It's, uh, it's really, really bad. You don't have grip and uh, it's really slippery. And at least I, I hope the people in, at home, they will enjoy it. So as the conditions get more difficult out there this afternoon, you won't consider using the snow tire? You're going to save your snow tire allocation for tomorrow? I don't know. We need to think about this uh, because uh, I, I, we use Finnish and I come here directly to to the media and now we have a little bit time to, to think what we can do. But of course, if uh, we need to think about what is more important. You know? Sebastian, we saw you having some real issues through stage three there with the windscreen fogging up. How difficult was that? Uh, it was not nice, obviously. The condition already difficult enough uh, but when you don't see uh, for sure uh, it doesn't help so um, yeah it was I don't know we had all anti-fog system on like the windscreen the eater and then and, and the blower so everything was on but still uh, when we passed through this water splash suddenly a massive uh, amount of, uh, of uh, yeah mist came in the car and then uh, yeah it took too long unfortunately to disappear so yeah definitely cost a bit of time uh, but okay we're still there and uh, not uh, not massive mistake so far uh, for sure the also the mistake of first one still uh, eight second lost there uh, okay we have to try uh, keep trying problem with the windscreen misting up is there much the team can do during service maybe to give you a little bit more air on the windscreen will they be looking at that they can have a look uh, for sure uh, because it's not really normal but i'm not sure there is much we can do all right three stages of the rally done this morning though it's been pretty difficult out there you seem to have coped okay though we are here, we are, we are alive, but uh, it's definitely been uh, much more than difficult. Uh, you know, anyway, all this characteristic is pretty new and, and um, yeah, um, you know, doing gravel sections with Arma car is, uh, is one thing, uh, doing it with this kind of weather uh, is another thing. So uh, without gravel crews as well, uh, need to read the road by ourselves, uh, it's pretty demanding.
how do you approach that then? Tell me about your mental approach as you sit on the start line, knowing that you've got potentially some difficult conditions. What are you thinking about? I just uh, need to really focus on the road, uh, on the surface, uh, to see where there is some grip and where isn't. Uh, trying to find uh, water splashes, some tricky places. So, uh, yeah, you really need to be 100% on it. Would you say you're relying maybe more now on what you can see rather than what you're hearing in the pace notes? Of course, you need to listen to the pace notes to see where the road goes or to know where the road goes. But uh, to see what are the conditions, it's all what we can see. And, uh, and definitely this... Uh, is, let's say, a bigger part of the game than we normally have. Elvin, we knew things were going to be pretty tricky out there this morning, but maybe a little trickier than expected. Yeah, every bit is tricky, let's say. Um, <clears throat> obviously, we already had a flavour of what was to come, perhaps last night or, or yesterday during shakedown, and it's rained pretty heavy. Um, so I think the grip levels on the tarmac we more or less expected, but uh, we've had a lot of standing water on, on the gravel sections, you know. Even first pass this morning, it was it was difficult with a lot of standing water. How are those gravel sections holding up? You know, there's a lot of passes still to come on certain sections there. How are they looking? Yeah, pretty rough and, and cut up already. Um, obviously, now the the ruts are just filling up with, with water. And now, obviously, we have to run those certain sections again a couple of times in the other direction now. So uh, it's going to be pretty rough by the end, I would say. Now, I know you're very much driving your own event, your own rally here, but how closely are you keeping an eye on the other boys' times? It's pretty tight at the top, obviously, apart from Esa Pekka, it's pretty tight. Yeah, it's tight. Um, obviously, we are trying to, to do our best, but obviously, you also have to make sure you don't really make mistakes. You know, it's very easy to give away 10 seconds or, or even take the wheel off. So it's a balance, you know, between risk and reward, and I'm trying to be as clean as, and clinical as possible and not really waste time more than try to make up a lot of time. How difficult is that to judge? And I think we're going to see more of that tomorrow with the difficult conditions. But how difficult is it to judge? You want to be careful, but you don't want to throw away bucket loads of time. Oh, it's a difficult balance. Um, you know, it's, it's never easy. And it doesn't matter how careful you are, you always carry a bit too much speed in, in some places. Um, so, yeah, it's tricky. Mm -hmm.